Have you ever lost yourself in the world of games like where you're fully focused on completing the mission, where you're making sure that you're doing everything in your power to get every single level up, every achievement that you're working on unlocked? What if I told you that you could apply that same and addictive concept to your online course or your community? If you don't know, we're talking about gamification. What is that, my friend? AJ here from Social Glow, helping you create highly engaged communities and courses, and I'm excited you're here. This video is all about giving you two gamification strategies that you can use to create a whole lot more engagement with all of your amazing content, increase your course completion rate and your attention, so ultimately, you, my friend, can grow your online business. Now, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you never miss out on some of this valuable content that we're creating for you. And also make sure you wait until the end because I'm going to give you some strategies. I'm gonna show you some strategies that you can use inside of your course right now. That being said, let's get into two ways that you can use gamification inside your course and community today. So grab your notes and let's get started. Now, I don't know if you know what I mean when I say gamification. So let's make sure that we're on the same page here. See, gamification is the application of game design elements and principles in non-game contexts, such as like online communities, online courses. You get what I'm saying? Gamification is about turning an otherwise kind of boring task, like watching a training video or completing another action item into this engaging, interactive, and super fun experience. And the first gamification strategy that you can use inside of your courses and inside of your communities is badges and leaderboards. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt the satisfaction of achieving like a high score in a game or the excitement of moving up a leaderboard? Well, we can bring that same excitement and feeling of like progress and accomplishment to online learning. You can use technology to give out badges to your students or members for completing modules, improving grades, or mastering a particular skill. This creates a visible sign of accomplishment for your students, for your members that they can be proud of. Now, leaderboards on the other hand, while they're promoting a healthy sense of competition within the community that you're creating. See, students are striving to outdo each other and they're indirectly increasing their engagement with the course, with the community that they're participating in. And you can even give out prizes if you wanted to for the first, second, third, fourth, fifth places, whatever you wanna do. So let me show you how you can do this and more importantly, automate it using Social Glow. So here we are inside of Social Glow. These are some groups we have. So let's just pull up Get Clients Bootcamp here. We click on this little gear icon and you're going to see, um, you just go to gamification. And if you want to add gamification to your group, all you gotta do is just like turn it on here. And then you're going to scroll down. I'm gonna turn off um, enable levels for a second. We're going to, you can just see, you can give points for people posting things. If they're glowing, which is like they like a post inside the community. Um, they comment, they add something to their favorites, they even accept the invitation to your community. Um, and then if you're running a course, you can give points for lessons, points for action items, points if they complete the course, and you can change these however you want to. For example, if you're like, hey, you get a thousand points, that's a thousand dollars towards the live event or towards the mastermind, or hey, if you get a hundred points or if you get a thousand points, that's dollars back towards your initial purchase, whatever. Um, so this is how you would set it up. And then the way that you would then run the points is you just kind of come over here. Let's launch the group for a second. And we're going to be able to see the leaderboard. And inside the leaderboard, you can see like all time. You can see first place, second place, third place. We can see the 30 day. We can see the seven day. And so you could figure out how you want to create a game and award and reward these people using leaderboards and things of that nature. And you can use Social Glow to do that. Now, the second gamification strategy I have for you today is learning paths and quests. Now, I want you to imagine that your course or your community, I want you to imagine it as like a journey. Now, a lot of course creators and membership owners, they don't really think about this because they don't understand the power of identity-based incentivization. Now, identity-based incentivization is a strategy that leverages the idea that our actions and our decisions are actually deeply influenced by our perception of our identity. You see, identity-based incentivizations, it's all about creating rewards or incentives that not only appeal to a person's wants or their needs, but also that resonate with their self-concept or their identity. So let me give you an example of this. Now, Ryan Stuman, he runs a mastermind here in Dallas, Texas. It's called Apex. 
And in my opinion, Ryan does an amazing job of leveraging identity-based incentivization inside of his mastermind. See, his mastermind has three levels. He has Entourage, which is level one. Now this level is for like the sales representative who wants to close more sales and then basically get entry level access to the mastermind. And then he has the second level, which he calls Entrepreneur. Now this level is for the business owner that's looking for systems to hire and delegate so they can ultimately start working on their business instead of inside their business. And then he has level three, which is called executive level. And this is the highest level of his Apex Mastermind. And these are the top dogs who already have like eight, nine, and even 10 figure businesses. And these people are just looking to not only grow their business even more, but they're wanting to be surrounded by people who are winning life, winning business at the same level as them. Now, this is genius if you think about it, because what hungry sales professional doesn't want to be an entrepreneur and then level up to the executive where they have a seven, eight, nine, ten figure company. This is a great example of identity based incentivization. Now, it's important to understand that identity based incentives, they don't always have to be materialistic or financial in nature. And in many cases, psychological incentives such as status upgrades, they can be a lot more effective. And I think Ryan is doing an excellent job of demonstrating this because imagine your identity. I'm just entourage, I'm part of the cool kids group. I'm an entrepreneur, second level. I'm an executive, third level. You can already see the identity, the status of like leveling up. So when you're using the strategy of learning, of like learning paths, learning quests, you're going to want to make sure that you create milestones for your students or for your members that they can like undertake, that they can participate in and then complete the certain quests or the certain assignments to make sure that they hit the milestones that you've created for them. And then as students, as they're navigating the path, they're going to be happy if you can let them accumulate some points, unlock some content, and gradually build a sense of progress and achievement and earn some more status. Now this not only makes the learning process more engaging, but it also provides a very clear structure and a goal, not to mention even more of a sense of progress, more accomplishment, and more status. So let me show you how you can pull this off inside of Social Glow. All right, so here we are at the dashboard again. Uh, we're gonna go to the group and we're going to click on group settings. And this time we're gonna go back to gamification. We already talked about points, so you're gonna win, use points. You could enable levels, okay? And in the levels, like think about Ryan, it'd be like change it to level one to like entourage, level two, entrepreneur. He could create a third level and it would be something like, like he had, executive. And then he could think through based upon his mastermind, his course, his content. He's like, okay, well, people need to have these amount of points to then access this level. Now, Ryan's example isn't perfect for this because he would have to think, okay, well, if a sales rep came into this game and they were gonna get the mindsets and the skill sets to get to an entrepreneur, how many videos would they need to complete? How many action items would they need to complete? And if they did all of this, how many points would they, do I wanna give them for doing all of the work to get to that level, right? And then he would think through the same thing for level two, level three. So this is what I'm talking about when I'm thinking about a learning path. Let me give you another example. So let's say you were in men's work of some sort and you wanted to create a learning path that was like, okay, well, the evolution of a man, if we look at like, we could say warrior, we could say magician, we could say lover, right? Warrior, lover, magician, and then we get to king for a man. So it's like, well, we could create levels for this. And once they go through all the content, they complete all the action items, we're like, oh, this person is a warrior. And then let's say we wanted them to level up to magician and they're gonna learn certain content. They're going to complete certain action items. And then it's like, oh, they're going to get to lover net. And ultimately they do the same thing and they get to level four, which would be king. So there you have it, my friend, two effective ways to gamify your online courses and your communities. Now, just I want you to remember, the ultimate goal of gamification is ultimately just to enhance the learning experience and keep people highly engaged. Like, make your course and make your community to make it engaging, to make it fun. That's what the purpose of gamification is about. But most importantly, gamification can help you make your course and your community meaningful and more importantly, transformative. So, I hope you found the ideas helpful. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up share it with another coach, course creator, membership owner that you know, and let me know, do you have any other gamification techniques in mind? If you do, drop me a comment below and let's get that conversation started. And uh, this is what I have for you today in today's video. Until next time, my friend, I'm out.